Good evening. My name is Wendy Downey, and I am the supervisor of non-traditional programs. And we're going to start off tonight talking about our main programs, and we will lead off with adult ed led by Toy Tanton. Good afternoon, everyone. Or good evening, everyone. My name is Toy Tanton. I'm the coordinator for adult education. We are excited that you decided to join us this evening. To give you an overview of our program, adult education uh, is for students who are 18 and older that live in Prince William, Manassas City, and Manassas Park. Uh, we are for our, with this program is for students who wish to acquire competencies necessary to further education, employment, and enrichment. We offer classes in English language, high school completion, which is broken up into two different areas. We offer uh, classes such as bridging, Microsoft Office Specialist, Community Engagement, Entrepreneurship and Small Business, Customer Service and Sales, and Guest Service Goal. We also have some job readiness and computer workshops. Uh, and if you didn't know, we, are, we also offer a testing center. We're a Pearson View Testing Center. We um, deliver over 140 tests. So for our high school completion programs, we have two options. We have GED preparation, which is offered at two levels. We have pre-GED is for students who don't have up to at least ninth grade proficiency. So we offer classes that are preparation classes for those students. And then for those who have the secondary skills, which are ninth grade and above, we have the GED prep. Our classes are offered in online and in person, and we do have them in English and Spanish. Uh, we have daytime and nighttime classes, so we have a lot of different options. Uh, the GED, formerly known as the General, was it General Education Diploma, is now just going by the GED. Uh, can be used to go to college. You can join the military. You can use it for everything that you do. A high school diploma. In order for a student to attain their GED, they would have to take four different tests: uh, one for math, science, language arts, and social studies. The cost of each test is $36. You can take that test either in person or online. The other program that we offer is called the National External Diploma Program. It is a competency-based test. You're assigned an assessor um, and you will work with that person through the different competencies, still in the four areas that I mentioned before, but instead of having to take a time test with like, the GED, this one is more competency-based, so you kind of work your way through it. Uh, in general, it takes students about a, eight months to a year to complete their NADP program. And when they do, they earn an adult high school diploma. And the same thing, you can use to join the military, go to college, anything in any place else that those are um, accepted. Uh, we also work with the Global Welcome Center. If you or someone in your home is between 18 and 22 years old, and or we should, I should say we work with the Visions program. If you or someone in your home is between 18 and 22 years old and not enrolled in school, you would go to the Global Welcome Center. There they would evaluate a tr your transcript if you had one and determine whether or not it'd be a good fit for you to go to school or would you work better for the Visions program. There is a teacher that offers classes in both Woodbridge and Manassas. Their classes are offered three days in Woodbridge and two days in Manassas. Once students have completed the Visions program, the L department is called uh, Student Opportunities and Multilingual Services Department will pay for the student who's completed the Visions program to enroll in the National External Diploma program for one year. After that, because the cost of the National External Diploma program is $800, after that, the student have to pay the quarterly fee, which is $200. I forgot to mention that the cost of our regular classes, our GED preparation classes, classes and English language classes and all those things are $175 a piece. If you have any questions, please let me know and you can put it in the chat. All right, I'm going to speak to Evening School Project Grab. And Evening School is a program for our high school students who are enrolled in their base school during the day and are looking to add to uh, the classes that they need for graduation. So sometimes students will come to us because they want to get ahead in their courses. Sometimes students come to us because 
they need to take a class for graduation um, and it currently doesn't fit into their schedule. Or sometimes students will take a class with us and because they failed the course before. Maybe they took the course in their school and they failed it. Sometimes students might try a virtual Prince William, but it's really not a good fit for them because in the virtual environment, it's just a bit more difficult for them. So they will come to evening school. So a few things about evening school. They're really, evening school and project graduation are really the same program. It's just based, the names are based on what grade. So evening school is the, these are the words that we use to describe the students who are in grades nine through 11. So those students would pay a flat rate of $250 and they could take one or two classes in the fall, or excuse me, in the spring in order to add to their transcript of courses that they've passed. We also have Project Grad. So this is for seniors. And because it's for seniors, it is at no cost. So these are students who need this class again, in order to graduate, and they would take this class with us. So a few more things about evening school. So classes are held in person. That's what makes this a bit different from virtual Prince William. So our classes are very small. Typically we have um, anywhere from six to 10 students in a class. Sometimes it might be even smaller. And if a student has uh, received special education services or a student is an L student, we do have teachers that are there that support those students. All of our classes are taught by certified teachers. These are teachers that teach for Prince William County during the day, and they teach in this subject area during the day, and then they work for us at night. So students take classes either on Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday. And we do have a form that goes out to the high school counseling teams. And the students would complete that form along with you to determine what class or classes would fit them best. We do offer the core areas, math, English, science, and social studies. And we do have some other classes that are not in the core area, but are needed for graduation. We do have transportation for students uh, to the location. And our location is at Independence Non-Traditional School. So that we use their building in the evening and our students are picked up at what are called satellite locations. So this is not door to door, um, it might be the nearby elementary school or the nearby middle school to your home. And because we have um, a shortened window of time, these courses run from, um, in the fall for our project grad, they run from August to December. And then in the spring, our classes will begin right at the end of January and they will run till May. So, they are on a semester basis and it is a focused period of time. Our students are very successful in this program because they're really able to get that one on one attention. The other program that we also run out of evening school is something called the test taker only program. So this is for students who have completed all of their graduation requirements. So they have passed all their classes, um, they've passed um, the requirements that they need to have, but they might not have passed, say for example, a reading or writing SOL, or maybe they didn't pass um, a social studies SOL. So these students aren't attending any high schools during the day, um, they are, they might be working um, out in the community, but they're not currently enrolled with a school. And so what we do is we have them come in once a week and we have a teacher that works with the student one-on-one -on -one, um, in these very, very small uh, classes in order to help prepare them 
in order to take the test. These students also have uh, satellite transportation, but students can also drive themselves. We do test them on the location at INS. And so we have um, had some success so far. We've already had a student pass one of their work keys testing. And so we are hopeful for the next round of testing that we get a few more students. So really that program is just for students who have completed everything for graduation, but they haven't passed their SOL test and they're still within the age requirement. And that is 22 years of age. The next program that I'm going to talk about is the STAR Tutoring Program. And this is very popular because this is a tutoring program for English and math. And it is from grades 6 through grades 12. And so if you look on the screen, you will see it's English from 6 through 12. And then it covers all of the maths um, that are available from math six all the way up through algebra two. So if you have a student who is struggling in math or English and you're looking for somewhere for them to get tutoring, what I would ask you to do is to contact their school counselor. The school counselor will help connect them to this program. And how it works is once you contact the school counselor and say that you would like your student to be enrolled in the STAR tutoring program. They will um, put your information into a form and the student will get a Canvas course. So similar to when your student has a Canvas course for every class they're enrolled in, they will get one for STAR. And inside of STAR will, in that Canvas course, will be a Zoom link. So all of this tutoring is done in the evenings. It's over Zoom. And again, this is all done by licensed Prince William County school teachers, and it is at no charge. So some students um, have tried other avenues for um, tutoring, but this is with an actual teacher in real time. And the teacher is focused on key concepts that are related to that particular course. And so the goal is to help them be um, be prepared for both the course and then also it all connects to the SOL. So some of these courses have SOL, some don't. And if you weren't sure if it has an SOL or not, or your student is not sure, you can always ask that school counselor just to double check. The other thing that we are going to do is we will be sharing information with Ms. Boyd. We are just uh, making sure we have all the dates and teachers ready because we are gonna offer some dates over winter break. So we will have that information. Those dates and those tutoring opportunities will be during the day. So if you get a chance to look at your students' grades before winter break and you see an opportunity for them to join this winter break tutoring opportunity, um, you can reach out to that counselor and I would do that as soon as you um, were able to, to just let them know you wanna get them enrolled, okay? Students, um, there's no requirement to attend. The student could come in and once or maybe a few times and then they don't have to continue to attend. And, <clears throat> excuse me, it's also very valuable for them towards the end of the year when SOLs are taken and then also before final exams are taken. So this is just, this slide right here just tells you a little bit about how this occurs. Probably the quickest way I would say would be to contact the school counselor. Um, the school counselors have that link and are aware that there is interest um, in the STAR program. So you would, your student would get the schedule. They would know what time the course meets and they can attend as many sessions as needed or as many sessions as you feel um, that they could attend. 
And before I move on, I know that STAR is um, a fairly popular program, um, especially this time of year. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. Okay. <clears throat> The last program that I'm going to talk about is computer-based instruction. So this is a, a specific program. Um, I won't, I will speak to this program just for a little bit, um, <clears throat> but this is a program for students who've been placed into the program as a result of a discipline issue. So this is not a program where students could opt into it. Um, this is something that <clears throat> has been a result of something that's occurred, a serious discipline issue at school. And if your student um, were to be placed in this program, there's, there is a process that goes along with it. Um, if you happen to have a student who is in this program and you'd like to talk about it a little bit further, you are welcome to reach out to myself or Ms. Pruden directly um, to speak to them regarding this program. But just keep in mind, this is something very specific. Um, students cannot opt into it. Um, it is, again, something that's a result of a discipline issue. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for us? Any questions from anyone? All right, well, I would like to take this time to just say um, thank you to Ms. Downey and Ms. Tenton and uh, Ms. Pruden for joining us tonight. I will send a follow-up email with the resources, which would be um, their presentation, as well as a recording of tonight's session, should you wanna go back uh, to look at it. We have placed the survey link in the chat. Please take the time to fill out the survey just so that we know what types of um, programming you would like in the future. And just to let you know, we are having another family engagement series tomorrow night. Uh, it would be gifted at a glance. Ms. Tanton will be presenting next week on adult education information. Um, so please go to our website and look to see if there are any other sessions you may want to attend this um, this month. So thank you to everyone. Um, have a good night. Thank you to our presenters as well.